below everyone. If you want to learn about adding similar and dissimilar fractions, without regrouping, then you're on the right video. Shall we begin? For our first example, let's have 2 fourths plus 1 fourth, equals n. These two fractions have the same denominators, meaning, they are similar fractions, and for us to add similar fractions, we simply add the numerators, that is, 2 plus 1, which gives us 3. Then, we copy the common denominator, which is 4. So, we have, 3 fourths. For the last step, we need to check if our answer is in simplest form. Using continuous division, let's check if this fraction is already in its simplest form. Think of a number which can divide both 3 and 4 other than 1. Is there any? None. That means, 3 fourths is already simplified. Therefore, 2 fourths plus 1 fourth is equal to 3 fourths. Next example, we have 3 and 2 eighths plus 4 and 2 eighths, equals n. Looking at the denominators of the fractional parts of our mixed numbers, we can see that we have similar fractions. So, for us to add these numbers, again, we will add the numerators first, and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then, we copy the common denominator, which is 8. But, before we simplify this fraction, let us not forget to also add the whole numbers. That is, 3 plus 4 equals 7. So, we now have, 7 and 4 eighths. Now, let us simplify our fraction. Let us write first the numerator, then the denominator. 4 and 8 are both divisible by 2. That is, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. 2 and 4 still have a common factor, other than 1, and that is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. This time, 1 and 2 have no common factor other than 1. Therefore, 4 eighths is simplified as 1 half. Thus, the final answer is 7 and 1 half. For those who can immediately identify the GCF of the numerator and the denominator, in this case, it is 4. You can just simply divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. Thus, 4 eighths is equal to 1 half, which leads us to the same answer as earlier. Now what if, we will add dissimilar fractions? For example, 1 half and 1 fourth. To add dissimilar fractions, we must change them first into similar fractions. In the previous video, you learned how to change dissimilar fractions into similar fractions using the LCD. This time, I will teach you how to use the butterfly method. In this method, we need to multiply this denominator to this numerator. 4 times 1 is 4. We put our answer here, and this denominator will be multiplied to this numerator. 2 times 1 is 2. We put our answer here. Then, we multiply the denominators. 2 times 4 is 8. The answer will be put here. Now we have completed our butterfly. That means, we can already add. The numbers in the antenna, are the new numerators, and the number at the bottom is now the common denominator. So, we have 4 plus 2 is 6. Then, copy the common denominator. Now, we have 6 eighths. But, do not forget to express the answer in simplest form. 6 and 8, are both divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. 3 and 4 has no common factor other than 1. Therefore, the simplest form of 6 eighths is 3 fourths. And that is, our final answer. For our last example, let's have 2 and 2 fifths plus 1 and 1 third equals n. Let's start by changing the dissimilar fractions into similar fractions. Let us set aside first the whole numbers and focus on these two fractions. Using the butterfly method, we will have 3 times 2, is 6. And 5 times 1, is 5. Then, 5 times 3, is 15. We now have, 6 fifteenths and 5 fifteenths. Let us bring back the whole numbers and proceed with addition. Adding the numerators, 6 and 5, will have 11. 
Then, copy the common denominator, which is 15. Now, add the whole numbers 2 and 1, that is 3. We now have, 3 and 11 fifteenths. 11 and 15 has no common factor other than 1, that means, the answer is already in its simplest form. Thus, 2 and 2 fifths plus 1 and 1 third is equal to 3 and 11 fifteenths. And that's it for today. See you in the next video.